Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. I'm going to climb over Bear. And we're going to go to the kitchen. I see all kinds of kitties. Here we go. There we are up. It's 20 after 5. And all the kitties are all up, too. There's our weather kitty, Loki. He's going to go out and check the weather for us. What's it like, Loki? Hmm. What do you think? Are you going to go or not? <laughs> we leave the door open for a minute. There, Loki's just having a hard time deciding. Feels pretty nice out there. Mm. No, Loki's not going to do the weather. He needs more money. <laughs> All right. Boy, your beer. There's Mr. Beer. Here, I'll pull your chair out for you so you can get up. There's our little one. This is Miss Muffy. In case you're new, she's 24 and a half years old, this little gal. Very small and very old. And she still can put the big putties in their place. Yep. Good girl, Muffy. <laughs> Get some lights on in here. There we go. And Bear, we're gonna get the coffee pot on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sleepy. Just rolled out of bed. Just. Didn't we, Bear? Yeah. Wow. I know. And you're hungry because your full dish of food overnight just isn't as interesting as other things. Right? Yeah, and there goes Loki. Let's follow Loki for a minute. <laughs> Loki's my bed kitty. He gets in with me at night. And he's a big boy. These cats take up a lot of space on your bed. Yeah. <laughs> Especially those two. Well, Luna, I went to bed last night. Luna's a big girl. She gets in underneath the covers and lays right on my belly. <laughs> and then Loki tries to get into my left armpit, and Miss Muffy's already in my right armpit. So that's how I go to bed at night. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at them woolly drawers. Oh, Loki, he's so fluffy. We're going to brush you today. Loki's got a few little mats in his uh, armpits. I got to try to get out today. It's not always fun or easy. You know, it's not. This little one here never gets a mat. No, she doesn't. Never gets a mat, never gets into trouble. She's perfect putty. That's what we call her. Yeah. Oh, I hear someone beckoning from the dining room. Hi, Lou. Hi, sweetheart. You look so lovely sitting out here by your bowl. Did we abandon you in the dining room? I'm so sorry. <laughs> there, are we gonna talk? You called me out here. Oh, here she comes. Oh, there. Good girl. Luna's a good girl. She loves people, not necessarily kitties, right? <laughs> yeah, she loves people. There's Loki. Hi, Loki. How are you today? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't go out. Not too bad out. Here, Miss Muffy. Hello. <laughs> she just sits every morning. She sits so politely and she lets all the big poets do all their dancing around for treats and stuff. And she just sits politely. <laughs> yeah, she's a pretty cute little kitten. Kit, kitty, I mean. She looks like a kitten. <laughs> yes, Miss Muffy came to us in 1999. So, she's an old girl. All of our kitties are heading towards seniorhood, actually. Our youngest one is seven, and that's Loki. Hi, you. I'm just hoping 
because we've always had fantastic luck. Well, I do miss Muffy as, as a testament. We've always had good luck having uh, our kitties live a long time. So I just hope it continues because, well, Luna is a senior now already. And uh, I'm hoping she'll have another 10 years in her. Yeah, because I've read, and they say that Maine Coons don't live. Well, they live to be 12 or 13 years old, and that's just not long enough. <laughs> That is just not long enough, is it, Bear? No. <clears throat> well, we, we had a Siamese kitty that lived to be 22 years old many years ago, right? Yeah. So, we just hope it continues. We sure hope it continues. We would hate to lose these guys. I had to go through a sad thing with my son and his girlfriend on Monday. They had to put their little kitty down. They have, they had three rescue cats. One of them has three legs and the other one was caught in a trap years ago and his front feet are all kind of mangled, but, and then their other little one who just passed, she, she, she was in pretty bad shape. She had, oh, they did everything they could to, to find out all of her problems. She had lots of problems, so she, she just couldn't do any more, so we went through that with them on Monday. It was kind of sad. And, uh, but they still have two kitties. I don't know if they'll rescue another one or not right now, but... Oh, I know. Kitties are such a wonderful thing to have around. Oh, my. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> Let me give you a little glance at my painting. I've been working on it pretty steady. Every day, I think, mostly. Oh, well, yeah. I took his <laughs> working on his face a little bit. That's why he doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's come through here and see Bear again. Hi, Bear. He's a big boy. Come here, Loki. Hi, buddy. Are you going to come out? Are you going to come out? Come on out and see us. And who's in here? Nobody. Miss Muffy's in the kitchen, that's why. Hi. Well, hello. Mr. Bright and Early. Let's see, who woke me up this morning? Oh, it was Bear and Luna. But Loki got in bed with me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Of course, that wakes me up. And unfortunately... If I get woken up, yeah, too much. There's no way I can get back to sleep. My mind is working and I just can't. <laughs> so, so Loki woke me up at three and then I just sort of, oh, I don't know, rolled around until five, I guess. <laughs> and that's when I get up to see these beauties. This is my morning routine. Every day I get up to see these beautiful cats. Yep. And they wake me up and I love to come out and spend my day with them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I see Luna. She's cleaning her feet. Yep. Cats are pretty meticulous about cleaning. I don't know if it's more so with a long-haired cat or not, but these guys are always working on their coats. Muffy still works on her coat. She still looks after herself really well, so we're very, very lucky that way. Hi, Lou. There's the beautiful Luna under the table. Hi. Are you going to come over? <laughs> yeah, so that's all of our kitties. We have four. We have three Maine Coon cats. And a little teeny tiny Torby, Miss Muffy. She's got this little thing on her nose that comes and goes. I don't know what it is, but it, uh, it's just a little dark patch. 
it seems to go away and then it kind of comes back. It's not uh, wet or anything. It's just a little dry, dark spot on her nose. She doesn't have too many problems. <laughs> no, Miss Muffy's always, she's only had one problem in her whole life as far as medical goes. And that was 14 years ago. So she's, <laughs> she's, she's a marvel. That's what I call her. But anyway, we should wrap this up for now and call it Catio Chat. And don't forget to subscribe. What's it about Loki right here? And we'll see you tomorrow.